Good morning. Welcome to the Baker Farm. I'm George and today I've got a treat for you. I'm going to be doing a review on this DeWalt 20 volt XR string trimmer. I've had a gas powered string trimmer for many years and it finally gave up its ghost and I'd been wanting an electric one so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to go ahead and pick one up. I went with the 20 volt because I have a lot of DeWalt power tools already and I've got a lot of batteries floating around because one of the things I've read about these electric trimmers is they don't have a long life on the batteries. Some of the more expensive ones, the batteries are quite expensive, like some of the 40 volt and 60 volt versions. I don't know if they've got a 60 volt, but the 40 volt versions, uh, the battery's two, three hundred dollars. You can get these five amp hour batteries for the DeWalt around 50, 60 bucks. This one actually comes with a five amp hour and a charger, which will help me on my other tools as well. So I'm looking forward to that. So let me get it out of the box and I'll show you what's inside. I've got it all out of the box and this is what it looks like. Now you will have to assemble a few things. You have to put on the guard, hand guard here and this, uh, this guard down here. Now one thing, when I went to look at it at the store, they had assembled one for display and this guard was down here. So don't let that fool you because I, I felt it and hit and uh, kind of moved it around and that felt a little awkward to cut. So the guard does belong up here. One other nice thing about this model is you can collapse it. It's got a little switch here. It looks a little awkward to actually use here. Kicks up and then collapses. Makes it easier to store if you've got some limited storage space. And it locks down here with this little switch right here. One other thing I did do is I removed the head that came with it and I, I used a speed feed head I have. The reason why I did that is a lot of the reviews people complained about the head and the way it advanced wire and also I have a lot of 095 and the head that's on it is designed for 080 wire. One thing to mention about that though is, is that the 095 is heavier and this being an electric trimmer, you probably won't get quite as much battery life as you would out of an 080 wire. So um, I will put uh, links to where I got this speed feed head. I got it from Home Depot actually, it's an Echo brand, which is virtually identical to this, I think it's speed feed brand. Um, that you can get from Amazon, but it was about $10 less. So if you've got a Home Depot near you, that might be a good, good idea. I'll put links to both of them in the description. Now, it also came, like I said, it came with a, a good charger and an extra battery. I am using some older five amp batteries that I had uh, in my collection and I charged those up last night. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you it working and I'm also going to run a timer and figure out how much time I get on a full five amp battery. Now I have about three acres, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get everything done on one charge, but it would, it would more than please me if I can get a good chunk of it done on a charge. Because usually when I was using the string trimmer, I'd have to fill up with gas about once, maybe twice um, while I was cutting, and I'd have to replace the the, the uh, string in the head at least once. Now, one thing I do is I pre-cut the uh, string for the speed feed head and I throw it in my pocket. That way I don't have to run back to the garage and switch it out. So let's get cutting. Overall, I am very pleased with this trimmer. It did a great job. Um, I didn't have to re-spool it once, which is, which is amazing, really. The other one I'd have to re-spool at least once. 
each trip. And I think that has something to do with the torque on this. I think this one turns a good bit slower than the other one. And while it gets the job done very well, it results in not as much um, pressure on the string. And as a result, the string doesn't break as often, which to me is a plus in this case. Um, the one thing I didn't like though was the length because I did feel kind of cramped, but I learned that if I kind of pulled it in a little bit, it would, it felt more comfortable and I was able to use it quite well. Now, the battery life. Uh, the first battery I had on there, I got about 15 to 20 minutes. Now that wasn't straight cutting, that was walking around the yard, cutting various things and whatnot. Overall, to cut my entire lot, it took a total of five charges. So I had three that were charged, I put them back on the charger, came back out, finished it up. Um, I think for a normal house size of say a half acre to a quarter acre lot, you might be able to get by with one charge, maybe two charges. And I think it, this, this trimmer is probably best suited for that kind of situation. I would definitely say it's not for commercial use um, or someone who has a lot of space. Um, that being said, I've, I've got three acres and it works out great. I, I'm, I'm gonna be happier with it. Um, it's very light and, um, and that, that's a plus too. I didn't find myself, you know, my arms getting tired and having to stretch out and whatnot. So, like I said, I'll put a, a link to the description uh, where I got it. I got it at Tractor Supply. It's also available at Home Depot. They do make a um, more powerful battery version of this as well that if you've got more space and you don't want to have to change out the batteries as much, um, that might be an option for you as well. So great. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful week, an awesome harvest, and amazing adventures. See you next time.